Welcome to the Collaboration Over Competition podcast. Collaboration takes competing to the next level, unifying the team and coming out with the best medal. It's coming our assignment for alignment, just check schedules, a group meditation to dead the devils. In the future, I see us floating together, comprised with different combinations, like using multiple minds on one conversation. Imagine having the space for many stars in one constellation. What would the value be if we all felt rich in one compensation? It's the power in numbers and we can't let nothing stop the mission. I'm optimistic. It's collaboration over competition. Rising way above the opposition. Who rocking well, with This is the Collaboration Over Competition podcast, man. And I wanted, I wanted to get your perception on, uh, you know, what does Collaboration Over Competition represent to you, man? What are your thoughts on that? Uh, I'm a competitor, like I said. Okay. Um, but... You know, reading the the, the the name of it, the title of it, mm -hmm. kind of made me think a little bit. And I'm like, you do have to collab. You know what I mean? You do mm -hmm. have to have, you know, you have to have those social skills to go out mm -hmm. and, and, and intertwine with people. But you have to be able to have that competitive edge, but be professional as well. Exactly. You know what I mean? Because some people compete with you and it's not professional. You know exactly. what I mean? They compete with you and it's more of a hater or, you know what I mean? It turns into something more toxic than, yep. than it needs to be. Yep. Um, just off of bad intentions. You know what I mean? But you nice. definitely have to go out um, and collaborate with people in order to, for one, build, you know, the, a fan base or, or, or networking or yep. to build whatever it is you're trying to build. But you also have to have some type of competitive nature because if not, yes. you're going to be cool with being second and third and fourth your whole no, life. Facts. I mean, I mean, it just doesn't make sense to not be, you know, competitive um, professionally, if you ask me. Oh, you are right. You're the first guest to give that to give that perspective. So uh, a lot of people think, you know, when we talk about collaboration of competition, it's, it's no competition. We all, no, it's, it's all good to good. It's yeah. all collaboration. There's competition within collaboration over competition. And collaboration over competition is just a, a strategy or a tactic that you can use. Yeah. Uh, but I, I like how you said, you just, even just the competition in collaboration, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and, make, you know, making sure... Uh, you know, you just got the, the right mindset, you know, yeah. and uh, keep in mind, you know, saying who you're working with. Mm -hmm. uh, but my next question, uh, do you think what are some ways you think we can encourage people to come together to collaborate? I know, you know, you said competition. Don't forget the competition because you got to have that. Yeah. But what are some ways you think we can, you know, we can bring people together to collaborate more, man? Because, you know, like in our community, it's hard to bring people together to collaborate on common ideas. We have to start from the bottom and build up or you can say we got to start from the top and build down. Mm -hmm. Either way, we got to start one of them points because yep. generationally we've we've been led in the wrong directions. Facts. You know what I mean? Like, Talk it's, about it. you know, what I mean, a lot of like I seen somebody talking about the other day talking about the hood rules. You know, what I mean, our hood rules. It's it's our, the dictionary is kind of you know it's you know it's a little shaky, man. It's 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 a lot that we have to overcome and and have to structure structuralize, I guess. Um, for, for our future, for our kids to understand that it's okay to compete. It's okay to be in the same environment. You know, you see Michael Jordan and Kobe coexisting. You know what I mean? Because there's 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 no hidden agenda. There's just straight competition. Yep. Who's better? You know what I mean? At the end of the day, we both can go home. And yeah, I mean, of course, it's going to be a little animosity and it's going to get a little heated when mm -hmm. you're competing. Yep. But if you keep it professional, um, everybody feels like uh, everybody's genuine mm -hmm. um, with their acts. You won't have that. You won't have that division. You know what yeah. I mean. Whoever makes it to the type, I mean, to the top, um, should or will probably be the type of guy that the community will respect. Yeah. You know what I mean. It's not like a uh, what is that a dictatorship? Am I trying to say or it's, it's something like it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you know no, what I mean. I it, what you're saying. Whoever ends up at the top, you know, for instance, take Lion King. You yeah. know what I mean. Like Simba was was the big dog, yeah. and everybody respected him around there. You mm -hmm. know what I mean. And then. You know, he he earned his stripes to get that respect around there. It wasn't yeah. like somebody just said, "Oh, yep, he's 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 head dog." You got to build your way up. You yeah. know what I mean? And and that way, when you get up there, you can show other people how you got there, organically, right. um, to where it's not, you know, misinterpreted to where it's like, "Oh, well, he got there because of this," or "He yeah. only got here because he got money," or yeah. you know what I mean? And then that's when you get the, the you know what I mean, the, the bad sauce in the, in the recipe. No, uh, I, I love that perspective. So like, you know, basically, you know what you're saying, you know you know when collaborating uh the things i took from you is professionalism right so coming with integrity honor yes. when you come with them things man you know your face card good correct it's easy to collaborate you know correct. what i'm saying it's, it's hard to collaborate when you know people got a certain perception they already think something about you yeah. so uh you know professionalism guys when, you know when we talk about collaboration of a competition making sure you good correct take, take care of you uh mm -hmm. you and, and to collaborate you got to make sure you good before you can even collaborate with somebody else because people can feel that 
Yeah. You know what I mean? People right. can feel that. You know right. what I mean? If I'm coming in here and I'm like, let's just use music, for instance, because, yeah. you know, I get that a lot. Mm -hmm. What's up, bro? I'm trying to get a song from you. What's up, man? Well, I mean, how can I reach you? <laughs> uh, just, uh, woo, 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 woo. You know what I mean? That's just not professional to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now, yeah, it might be some settings to where we might just be in there chopping it up to where it just rambles. The conversation leads there, yep. but you know a lot of the times it just don't be professional. You know what I mean? You gotta you gotta wear that hat all the time if that's what you're gonna be trying to do. Yeah. Another thing too, I hear Rick Ross talk about this too. So like you talk about music, people coming up want to collaborate with you, and not in the right way. Mm -hmm. I know he talks about man, if you want to collaborate, man, when I click on your page, showing some type of love to me. You Correct. see what I'm saying? Uh, be a supporter first before you want to collaborate. Correct. Uh, embrace the person. Uh, uh, so like. And I don't even, uh, not even, you know, Rick Ross, I mean, that's extreme. You know, Rick is Rick. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so he yeah. gets to say that. But not <laughs> even that. I don't even have to get on your page and see that um, you, you, you you following me or respecting me or, you know, you you like me as a fan. Yeah. I want you to respect yourself first. Yeah. If I get on your page and your page don't say artist, you're not an artist. Facts. If I get on your page and you don't have no videos, you're not an artist. Facts. You know what I mean? And that's yeah. whatever it is. If you're saying you're a basketball coach and I get on your page and there's nothing about basketball, you just tying your, your baby shoes at one of her first games yep. and it's a picture of the court in the background, you're not a coach. I love that. I love that you said that, man. And thank you for correcting me on that as well, too. Man, that's important in today's time, social media and uh, coming correct, man. Come correct your presence online, mm -hmm. right? So. People, you know, they have the perception of you when they meet you in person. Yeah. Then there's a there's an online perception of you as well. Correct. When people go look at your profile and they can form perception of you. Yeah. Uh, have your stuff correct. I know they talk about that with a lot a lot with athletes. Mm -hmm. You know, make make sure your you know your stuff is correct when the coaches come look at your page. Yeah. Uh, but another thing too, I want to talk about because that's important too. But uh, you know, we talk about social media and having your doing you know having uh, coming correct. I think a lot of not a lot of people need to get educated on even how to use the technology. Mm. Uh, you know, we may have the, the technology, but we don't know how to use it in our to our advantage. Yep. Man, this technology is empower empowering yep. everybody. It's is changing industries, uh, you know, across the board. So uh, we got this power. Let's get educated on how to use it. Just right. just like something this podcast we're doing. I mean, this just recording the conversation. This has been around for, for a long time. You know, mm -hmm. music and everything, but podcast you know this this is a different form and you see how we, we we're taking advantage of it so i want to advise youth out there to take advantage of get educated on the technology as well so you can yeah. use it to your advantage especially technology man it's, it's all gonna be technology in the next 20 30 years <laughs> man, man. Facts. you got to figure out what's 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 hitting now um or potential ideas for you know the stuff that's going on right now stuff that you can see oh this is gonna turn into that or this could turn into that you know yeah. what i mean that's how you get, become the jetsons you know yeah. what i mean that's how you get ahead of the game i want to kind of uh lead this into kind of entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I want to have you just kind of touch on some of the uh, different business ventures that you are in, you know, invested in or that you are involved with. I know, you know, you're a serial, serial entrepreneur. Can you give us a rundown, you know, some of the things that you're involved in? Um, I have uh, the clothing line, Twisted Teeth Thieves. Oh. I started that in 2013. That's something that um, I'm actively trying to get back. Um, you know what I mean? I'm trying to take that to a bigger scale. Um, just okay. knowledge, you know, I needed a plan. I didn't have a plan when I first dropped it. You know what I mean? I, I was just, I, I just knew I was in love with fashion and you know, that was it. Um, the, the clothing line. Um, I have the barbershop Midwest blends, um, okay. on 13th and Wood line. Okay. Um, again, I didn't have a plan. I just dove in, you yeah. know what I mean? I had a little bit of a plan with that one, but yeah, yeah, it was my first business, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Real business with overhead. I just dove in it, man. You yeah. learn along the way, you know yeah. what I mean? Overhead, my first spot was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I didn't know no better. Yeah. You know what I mean? I didn't know no better. Yeah. Um, but now I'm on, on a better plan. Um, we have uh, Platinum Home Health Care. Okay. My mom, okay. um, she does the nursing okay. um, awesome. with, the, yeah, with the elderly women. Okay. Um, so we've been doing home health for about 10 years now. Midwest Plans going on six years. Twist T Thieves going on 10. Uh, we just opened up New Beginnings uh, group home as well. Okay. Uh, that's awesome. been open. That's what you asked. Um, um, what other? I mean, what else is we in? What else we got our hands in? Man? Um, those are the, those are, I say those are the four main, Any major, time? major things that we have going on. Any advice out there for the entrepreneurs? You know, uh, you know, one thing we talk about in the show a lot is entrepreneurship. So, any mm -hmm. advice out there for the entrepreneurs? Just don't be scared, man. Don't be scared. Um, don't be scared. Uh, I know, no risk. man. Because I, I mean, looking at this building when I came in here, you know, what I mean, I had an opportunity to get something like this when I had, you know, the chunk change coming in, and mm -hmm. I was scared. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I'm like, what I'm gonna do with all that? You yeah. know what I mean? I didn't see um, the business side of it then. Yeah. You know what I mean? I could have opened this up and and, oh, and rented this out and leased that out, and you know what I mean. And now I'm making ten ten thousand off a building that's only charging me two thousand for the all profit. You know what I mean? All profit, all man. Profit. But you know, I just 
that that's that's trial and error, man. Just mm. don't be scary. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I said, with the barbershop, I jumped straight off the porch, mm. bumped my head two, three times. You know what I mean? Damn, I, yeah. I did that the wrong way. But I stayed down. I stayed in it. You know yeah. what I mean? I, I seen what happened, and I realized that I need to make these changes in mm -hmm. order for it to go this way. Uh, yeah. I heard Tuggle say, uh, you either red or you green, and I grew up that same way. You either in the red or you in the green. Facts. If you're in the green 1%, you're still in the, in the, in the positive, and that's where you need to be. And we don't, we don't celebrate the small victories enough. Yep. You know what I mean? We, we, we be so quick. Oh, man, I was just 200. Oh, you made 200. How much Facts. did you make yesterday? Facts. Nothing. You know what I mean? Facts. And then you look up, and now it's 200,000. And now it's 3 million. Yep. You know what I mean? You got to celebrate the small victories in order to, to get that battery percentage up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, hey. Advice, don't be scared to take risks, y'all. Yeah. Uh, scary money don't make money. Scary money don't make money. No, no I, I, I definitely uh, appreciate that. Um, this last couple questions, I, I want to talk about mental health. Uh, yeah. You know, we we in a, an era, a time, man, where mental health is talked about. It's not shunned upon, especially as black men. We can have this conversation openly. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I just got into therapy. Uh, you know, therapy is a... a I applaud that. Thank you. Thank you. We all need that. <laughs> Some, you know, something that's a lot more talked about. Is there any advice you have out there for people, you know, on mental health? Um, I'm I'm a big advocate of 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 getting a counselor, getting someone, you know, somebody you gotta talk to somebody, man. And yeah. you know, sometimes you don't want um your friend's opinion, you know what I mean, that's gonna be biased. You don't want your mother's opinion or you know, or even a coworker's opinion, you yeah. know what I mean, just because you have to be around them all the time. Yep. Sometimes it's better to go talk with the stranger, um, just to clear your head a little bit, you know what I mean? And them telling you something that might go against what you ultimately believe it will mean more just because you know they don't know you. Yeah. So if it sounds like a bad idea, they're going to be like, ah, that doesn't sound like a, you know what I mean? And then, yeah. it, then it gives you that, okay, they not just hating. Yeah. Or she not just because she know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or whatever the situation be, um, may be. Um, mental health is something that, you know, we, we, we don't talk about enough. Um, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Everybody's going through life. Everybody's living life. Yep. It's it's an everyday struggle, you know what I mean? From from a young age in, until you you know ultimately pass away, right. it's gonna be up and down, you know right. what I mean? It's, it, I've yet to see someone go through life that didn't have struggles, and even some of your heroes that we hear about that we think are, you know, the ultimate gladiators, never been in trouble, and you right. know what I mean? Then when you hear a story, you're like, oh dang, yep. that 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 put it more in perspective for me. Like yep. you're you're real human. Mm -hmm. yeah, everybody's human, you know what I mean? Yep. No, his advice, you know, bounce, you know, your thoughts off somebody, you know, you know, that that's not around you usually. So, you know, a mentor, a counselor, you know, mm -hmm. just get, get a fresh look on, have somebody give a fresh, you know, thought or opinion on, you know, what, what you have to say. But I think that the basis of all that, you know, how we make it, you know, uh, whether it's breaking a cycle or collaborating more is mental health. Yeah. Especially in our community, man, yeah. it ain't talked about. We got a long way to go, man. We got a lifelong, like you said, a lot of generational trauma um, a lot of baggage just piled up on top of each other mm -hmm. um even with you know the stereotypes of the black man you know what i mean nice. in the household you i mean think about um i know one of the popular shows now is snowfall just think about the snowfall era with the with the with the, oh. the the war on crack and when you look at it and you strategically sit back and you say well we were targeted more than it was an issue you know what i mean it was more of a target thing um if you ask me and you know with with that entire gap you know, going through the entire 90s and into the 2000s and, you know, all that type of stuff to to be where we're at now. To now we're finally starting to get back to our two parent household. Uh, people are starting to realize that that ain't really what life is about. You uh, know what I mean? I shouldn't be taking that gamble. It's, uh, it's better to be at home with my kids. It's better to to love my woman. It's better to, to you know, what I mean, it's, it's better to do those certain things. And now we're at that point. But a lot of our women are so used to being independent. And that was the narrative. You know what I mean? You don't see nobody Chinese saying, I'm an independent woman. Yeah. You don't see that. Only black women. You know what I mean? That's the that's the only stigma. You, it's good to be independent. It's good to be independent. And we're at that stage now that we're now, we if we want to come home. And now it's like, well, you ain't been here. Man, that, that's where you get to you know, the Kevin Samuel arguments and stuff like that. But man, no, that, that was, you hit it right on the nail, man. Like trauma-wise in America, man, we done been through we have been through, you know, our share fair and it ain't stopped and we're still going through it. But, mm -hmm. you know, we are like we're coming out of it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But like you spoke like on particularly black women, like there's still some coming out of there's still some stuff to deal with yes, come, come, coming out of that, man. Uh, but, you know, we on the right path, man. We in an amazing time. Uh, that's why I think conversation is so powerful, man. Yeah. Uh, Definitely so, amazing time. Yeah. Man. So just ed education. Uh, you know, taking advantage. I, I want everybody to just take advantage of the times we're in, man. 
Uh, I think, you know, here in the next decade or, you know, decade, decades, you know, when we're older, man, we'll be able to look back and be, you know, proud of, you know, the progress we made or, you know, just be, just being able to be a part of this process. Yes. I, I think it's going to be legendary, bro. Yes. Like, uh, it's kind of like, uh, I don't want to say, you know, the gold rush, you know what I'm saying? It's one of them eras we're in yeah. right now. Like, uh, everybody get money right now. That's what I'm saying. Everybody, that's what, everybody your boss. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, but yes, we, we are in power, powerful times, man. So mental health, I, I think, is one of the, the basis of, uh, coming, you know, taking advantage of this time, but coming out of, you know, and breaking that cycle. Mm -hmm. Mental health, y'all take care of yourselves, man. Amen, amen.